Hello out there, this is DZ, your overlord Deseran, and welcome back to the to the <laughs> 25th ward, the silver case. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I almost called it just the silver case. Okay, so here's the plan currently. So you've unlocked Matchmaker up to Moon over 25. For correctness, we've finished it. We've got the first one of Transmitter. And then we have Placebo number... Four, technically? So, what, we're, what I'm going to do... Here's the plan. I'm going to do Suzuku. And if that does not unlock any other thing... I'm going to go to correctness. Or, I'm going to go back to the main story. For now, let's just see what's going on with Morishima. <clears throat> Presumably, this has to do with what just happened... With the RA Bureau in the last part. Excuse me. October 14th. Pier. <coughs> Tokyo Morishima, right? Ah, it literally just happened. Who the hell are you people? You don't look like burglars. Sorry for the intrusion. Who are you? We're from the Regional Adjustment Bureau. You've heard of us, yeah? I've heard rumors. So then you know why we're here, right? We'd like to take the liberty of performing adjustment. That's... I would prefer not to. I still have work to do. Well, adjustment is our job, so sorry, but get ready. Which is what I'd like to tell you. But there is one thing you can do to get out of this. What is it? You're gonna help us out. Help? What do you mean? You're a pretty interesting guy, and you're a good reporter. It would be a bit of a waste to have to adjust you. So we'd like to put your skills to good use for us. You'll pass whatever information you get on to us. And we'll remove you from the list of targets for adjustment. Like a dog keeping a dog. Not exactly. In your case, it would be... A turtle? Yeah, a turtle. Turtles move pretty slowly. And you're gonna have to be a fast-moving turtle. You got two choices. You wanna live, or do you wanna die? What's it gonna be? Suzuku. Furishima actually has at least one of the silver eyes. I'd want to test that immortality, to be honest. <clears throat> but that's just me. Hey, Red. Turtles can actually swim pretty fast. Tobacco, live, or die. Oh, red. Well, something is beginning. What the hell? That's some scary shit. Are you... death? How rude. Huh? It spoke. I think you know. Oh, it's you. Yeah. 
Why are you... It's an emergency. What? The blog was jacked. Did you read it? Jacked? No. Then read it. After that, we'll talk again. Hmm. So was that Slash, or was that Meru? <clears throat> How you doing? How you doing, Red? You okay, good buddy? Okay, so literally nothing I can do except the PC. What? I haven't really done shit for you recently. Okay? Why aren't I checking the PC? What, do I just need to keep talking to Red? Calm down. What's up? What the hell? What's wrong? Sorry if I keep trying everything, it's just like... Does it just want me to keep talking to Red? Really? 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 Okay. Hey, calm down. It's not time to eat yet. I'll feed you in an hour. An hour goes by quickly, right? Uh, maybe? Hey, calm down. It's not time to eat yet. I'll feed you in an hour. An hour goes by quickly, right? Okay. So still nothing. Oh, finally, now the PC. I accidentally skipped the cell phone. Log out. Browser. Oh, my only options are log out or browser. Okay, let's go to browser. Why are so many people dying? Because there are people killing them. That was my answer. The real me? That's right. I was a girl who was plugged in. It had a king-size double bed and a plasma TV, and it had a huge clean bathroom, and the bathroom had two baths that seemed to be for separate things. Finally, I made my debut at quarter as a copy of Milu. With that, GLG somewhat mysteriously narrowed his eyes and stared at Meru on the monitor, but his mouth formed an ever-so-slight smile. Because they don't follow the rules, Shoot suddenly became really angry. There was a suspicious gleam in his eye. The way Milu spoke was the same as it had been before, to the point where you couldn't even tell if she was the sort of person who would mix up their garbage like that. I used my very own actual physical body to make the call. It was actually the first time ever in my life that I would use my own voice to speak to someone over the telephone. I wasn't able to look him directly in the eyes, but I strangely didn't feel fear or uneasiness at all. Gun and phone in hand, I stood up. Once again, I sat down in front of my computer and prepared. My calling, my fate, my destiny, 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 my calling, my fate, my destiny. What the hell? The color of a flower. This is both a confession and an announcement. It is also a record as well as a message. So for the final entry, I'm writing this up in clear, understandable words for you. I will become a weapon for you. Your only weapon is me. If you so desire, you can use me as a weapon in battle against the enemy you know well, but can't see. Let's meet then. <clears throat> okay, that's Meru. That's Meru. And...
slash. Oh, no, it's slash. There are three possible explanations. I'm listening. The first is that some maniac cracker put up some fake entry. Okay. Sounds plausible. The second possibility is that a program went haywire. The kind that automatically writes up nonsense text. Like how blog pets put up weird entries on their own. Meru's conversation program may have been infected by a virus. Hmm. I don't really know about that. The third is... The real thing, huh? What do you think? About what? Which do you think is the right answer? How about you? I don't want to say first. Why? I got a bad feeling. Just say it. Fine. I feel like your life is in danger. Yeah. Me too. Are you scared? No. I don't know. Do you feel it? Not really, no. So which explanation do you think is the answer? Choose one. One, two, three. Three, of course. That's not it. That's impossible. It's just my gut feeling. Fake? One, of course. That's not it. It's impossible. It's just my gut feel. What? Haywire program. Two, huh? Yeah. Hmm. So this is also what emergency meant. The net is acting up. The net is? I think it's because of a virus. The kind we've never seen before. Things have been happening over the past few hours. Fake news that seems real has been running on news sites. Wait a minute. So that whole thing, the entire thing with Meru, with Meru, is fake? Is that what you're telling me? On message boards, all sorts of nonsensical messages have been going back and forth. Weird entries have been going up on blogs automatically. Opening links to corporate sites as top pages brings up animated memes and fake nude photos of actresses. Using search engines brings up old secret documents from the USSR. On movie viewing sites, there have been a huge load of videos uploaded of Hollywood actresses having plastic surgery done. It's like a large-scale, simultaneous terrorist attack using viruses. And it's not like something really huge and outstanding is happening. Things are getting strange a little bit at a time. What do you mean? That's why I'm using this live meeting system to talk instead of the messenger. Are we okay here? I don't know. But I know the messenger is screwed up. While I'm typing, all these weird texts start popping up and the log just keeps on flowing. Slash. Yeah? Who could create a virus like this? Well, this much is obvious. It's not a matter of who made it. Say someone was to find a revolutionary effective new way to distribute computer viruses, right? It would happen on its own. Quietly. Even if someone... Oh. Excuse me. Even if someone didn't spread it out, sooner or later someone else would spread it instead. That's fucked. The whole world of the internet is fucked. Yeah, that's right. But if there's a problem, you simply don't have to use it, right? You mean computers? Yeah, the internet. Yeah, that won't work. Really? Yeah. Tokyo, it's too late for you to get out. So, what's fucked up isn't just the internet. What's going on? Don't worry about it. The world is going to change in three, two, one. That's all. Son of a bitch. 
Uh oh. Uh, where the fu- Um... Where the hell are we? Uh... That's not bad, but why a turtle? This place. Oh yeah, I've seen it before. Have you? Gentleman, red lady. Let's go with the red lady first. What is this place? Please have a seat. Where? There are no chairs. Who are you? Uh... Looks like it's alive. No, it couldn't be. This has gotten freaky, but before the room wasn't so red. Where are the chairs? You can have a chair if you wish. If I wish? What the hell are you talking about? I... what? But... what kind of turtle is this? That was a dream. A dream. A scene I saw in a dream. I cried and... Wait, what? Is this the dream you kept waking up from in the first game? You're quiet. Uh, I don't like this. Ma'am? Why is there a chair here? What the hell? This is, this is weird. This is freaky. You piss me off. Looking at you gets me irritated. Whoa. Whoa. You're so angry. Me? Aren't you? No. I feel sad. Why? I don't know why. Why don't you know? You should know yourself. I'm the one who should be asking questions. Where is this place? First, give me an explanation I can accept. This is the backyard. And? The boss wants to erase you. The boss? Him. That quiet old man, huh? He's a highly skilled eraser. Eraser? So an assassin, huh? Then kill me. You can kill me any time, right? I couldn't even escape if I wanted to. Erasing you is very troublesome. Because your entire existence has to be erased completely. What are you talking about? If your residual thoughts remain, it becomes even more trouble. You must be completely deleted. So you will be killed, but today you are going to be completely killed. And so, erased, you could call it being uninstalled. Hey now. Sit. C come on. Don't treat me like a program. Your brain cells contain a program pertaining to some special memories. So you could be considered to be a program too, but with a more low-tech physical body. 
Some people call you a simple tape. Ah. Ah. Uh, ah, I see. So, I get it. I got it now. I've finally come to understand things recently. So basically, my memories are in the way, right? My memories which have been starting to awaken? Who the hell are you people? Are you with the Regional Adjustment Bureau? Are you with the T's or the F's or the C's? Or are you Kamoi believers or something? I told you, the problem isn't who we are. If there's a way to do it, sooner or later, someone will. Right now, there are a lot of people who want you deleted. I didn't know that. This is the first you've heard of it. Or, this is the first you've heard of it? No, I knew. But I hadn't noticed it. That's how people think of themselves. This isn't the time to be bullshitting, right? Yeah. Let's get started. What's gonna start? You're going to fight. This is the backyard. So you need to start getting ready. Hey. Ready, A. Eh? Then you're gonna fight, A. Eh? I'll get ready. But why did you start talking like that all of a sudden? When I lose my mana, my language skills get weird, eh? I've been speaking to humans for too long, so I've lost my mana, eh? Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Talk to me properly. So, what exactly am I supposed to get ready? Get the weapon from the turtle, eh? You can only take one weapon per round, eh? You get three rounds, eh? If you fight three times and lose each time, then you'll be totally deleted, eh? Win even just once, and the glory of victory is yours, eh? Talk to the boss once you're ready, eh? Weapon. Okay, I'm gonna save this really quick. I have no clue what's going on. Talk to the boss once I'm ready. She said get a weapon from the turtle. Please choose a weapon. You can only equip one weapon. One, Thorns of Wrath. Two, Lion's Fang. Three, Tears of the Stars. Four, Philosopher's Jaw. Five, Witch's Poison. Six, Life of the Sacred Stone. Seven, Cane of Eternity. Eight, Spark of the Thunder God. Nine, Black Blade. Ten, Wandering Wind. Wings. What is this, a kid's game? Lion's Fang, Tears of the Stars. I... I... Uh... Uh... Black Blade? Sure. Are you ready? Yes? Then let's begin. Um, I have no clue what's going on here right now. Blue room. Um... I gotta fight you? In this world, yeah. How do I fight a computer? Use commands. But if you get done in, it really hurts. You should be careful of that. You might end up puking blood. You're really physical, huh? <laughs> oh god, what the hell? Slash has appeared. Use weapon. Tokyo used black blade. But nothing happened. Slash looks at you with sad eyes. Tokyo attacks. 
did seven damage to slash. Slash attacks. Slash shot a fiery inferno. Did 21 damage to Tokyo. Protect. Ooh. Escape? Tokyo tries to escape. But he couldn't. Oh crap. Slash attacks. Slash released foul breath. Uh, I get the feeling I'm in trouble. Yep, I'm in trouble. No damage was dealt. Nothing happened. How am I supposed to know what to use? Oh god. Now? Nothing happened. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, we're down. Tokyo has been weakened. Okay. I need to change weapons, I think. Okay, do you have any other advice for me, lady? You got done in, eh? Two more tries, eh? Then you'll be totally deleted, eh? Okay, turtle. What do you got for me? Which one is it? Um, spark of the Thunder God. Cane of Eternity. Life of the Sacred Stone, Witch's Poison, Philosopher's Jaw, Tears of the Stars, Lion's Fang, Thorns of Wrath. Let's try Philosopher's Jaw. Yes, we'll equip that. Sure, why not? It's not like I know what I'm supposed to use. Yes, I'm ready. And let's begin. Slash again. Alright, here we go. Here we go. How are you feeling? I feel like I'm one-third dead. That's right. You're clever. You're really trying to erase me, aren't you? I've been telling you that, dumbass. I don't want to disappear. You're unusually stubborn, huh? I feel like... I still have things I need to take care of. Little boy, good boy, it's sleepy time. Die. Use weapon. Damn it. Not the right one. Whoa, okay.
I get the feeling I'm gonna lose. Unless by some, some sheer dumb luck I manage to pick the right weapon. Oh! Use weapon? Damn it. Oh god, oh god, dead. Yep. Ow. Oh god, damn it. Wish there was some way to know which weapon to take. There has to be some kind of a clue. Porcelain jar? What? That's different. Please choose a weapon. Meru drops. This is cheating. You wished for it, so this cheat made itself appear. Oh! Meru said she'd be our weapon! Yes. Screw it, I'm taking it. Then let's begin. I'm gonna call it an episode whether or not... If I die, I'm calling it an episode. Otherwise... Well, I mean, other way, I'm still calling it an episode. Blue room. I bet this is set up that all ten weapons are useless. And the only way to do it is with the mirror drops. This is your last try. Yeah. You tired? Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna die. I can't breathe. But it's also kind of fun. Fun? Why? If I do this right, I can be reborn, right? If you win, then I'll win. Nope, I'm afraid I'm gonna have you. D I'm gonna have you disappear. Whatever will be, will be. All right, bitch. Tokyo used the mirror drops. His body is filled with energy. He can feel her power. He can feel her hot, hot, hot power. Raging energy surges toward his opponent. Did 346 damage to Slash? Slash is in pain. Do it. No mercy! Again! Just keep it up! The power of Meru! Slash is gasping for breath. Do it! Do it! Three hundred eight damage. Slash has lost his power. Tokyo has defeated Slash. Okay. It's running a bit long, but. Oh. Meru helped us. Great job, eh? Now it's back to the beginning, eh? Beginning, my ass. That's right, eh? Overwritten and reinstalled, eh? So I can go back, right? You can do whatever you want, eh? 
You've made it to hell and back. Who the hell are you? I guess, but yeah, I know. The real hell is, yes, from here on. I'll remember that. What the f... Whoa! 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 What the hell are we doing here? Can you believe it? I don't know. You felt me, didn't you? Yeah, even now. Then believe. I can't believe anyone. What the hell? I'm the same. Are you saying we're similar? We're similar in the way that a rock in a river is similar to a rock in the ocean. That's a weird example. I'm the useless Ayame. You're... Don't say that name yet. We can synchronize. What happens if we do that? I'll download your memories. So you want me to give them over to you? The memories that are starting to awaken? Yes. Your most prized possessions. I'll hold them for you. Okay. What the hell is happening? Now open your heart. How? Think of the woman you love, then layer me on top of that. That's hard. Just try. Okay. Are you trying? I'm trying. You can take your time. Okay. Just a little more. You can do it. The woman you love. A wonderful woman. That's it. Just a bit more. Just like that. It's going to work. What the hell? Whoa! I've gone through all of Suzuku? Misoji is coming soon. Private Eyes. What? I have no idea what just happened. Yeah, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna call this an episode. Um, I'll save over this one, I guess. I'm just gonna check the screen now in a second. Is there a different name than placebo now? No, it's still placebo. Okay. In that case, in the next part, we are going to start Transmitter and Digital Man because I want to get back to the main story. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and check out links in the description for the 25th Ward, the Silver Case on Steam, although this is the PS4 version that I'm playing. And well, in the next part, again, we're gonna go here for Digital Man, but I still don't know what the hell that was all about in that last bit. Uh, either way, until... Until the next part, 
This is DZ, your overlord Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>